Two years ago, guys, I made one small decision that changed everything, and that decision was to leave Keller Williams Real Estate. It was a hard decision, but it was something I had to do. So in this video, I want to tell you guys exactly why I did it. And again, I loved Keller Williams. I still do. But I'm going to tell you why I did it and what I was looking to get out of the new brokerage. If you stick around, I'll tell you exactly what I got in terms of rev share because I joined eXp Realty. I'm going to get into it right after this. If it's your first time in the channel, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I left Keller Williams to join eXp Realty. So why I left Keller Williams. Just a little background, I love Keller Williams. That's where I started my career. I essentially grew up there, right? So I participated in everything. I was the number two producing agent in my office. I was rookie of the year my first year in my office. I was on the ALC. Um, I was about to be president of KWYP. I spoke on panels at Family Reunion, at Mega Camp. You name it, I did it all. And, and I loved it. I appreciate everything that I got from it. I appreciate all the opportunities. But let's be real, I worked my butt off for all those opportunities. So while I definitely appreciate it, I deserved it for the hard work I put in. So with that being said, Keller Williams is great. Especially, you know, you hear about the training and all that other stuff. All that stuff is great. But really what it boils down to, if you're a person that needs recognition and needs that sense of community, then Keller Williams is great for you. Stay there because they do a great job of recognizing you and they do a great job of giving you opportunities to serve. Me, on the other hand, I got into real estate to build a better future for my family and create more financial opportunities. With that being said, all the things I was doing at Keller Williams, I was getting more and more involved, but guess what? It just was taking more and more time from the things that made me money. After spending three years at Keller Williams, and I remember it like it was yesterday, I had just finished speaking at Keller Williams Family Reunion that year. We did it virtual. This was 2021. And I got a message from a friend of mine. And that message was, Will, you got to watch this video. Now, I had heard about eXp probably a year sooner, but it just, the way it was bought to me, it just wasn't the right time. And the way it was explained, it just didn't seem like a fit. But when this trusted person came to me and said, hey, Will, you got to watch this video. I watched that video. And then after watching that video, oh, my God, I paced like I vividly remember pacing around the table in the living room. And I looked back and the dog was right behind me. So it was super hilarious. But <laughs> what I saw in that video, I could not unsee. Let's talk about what I was expecting to get. I joined EXP for three major reasons, and I'll tell you what I got. But then there was something that was unexpected that was probably more valuable than anything in all the other three things. The first reason I joined was healthcare. Me and my wife are both entrepreneurs, so we need healthcare. And at the time, we were on this Kaiser plan. I think it was the bronze plan. And when we signed up for this plan, the lady selling it to us, she was like, are you sure you want this? And at the time, it was like all we could afford, you know? So we had the bronze plan. At eXp, it's one huge brokerage. We're able to get a group plan. So essentially, we were paying $1,300 a month for this bronze plan that, you know, Lord knows you do not want to have to try to use because it would not have been the best coverage. But on the eXp plan, we pay, I believe, 800 bucks, but not only did we get uh, healthcare or insurance, we also got dental and vision. We didn't have those. So that was the first reason. The second reason I joined was the ownership, right? A lot of us as newer agents, especially me as an African-American agent, were always taught ownership, ownership, ownership. Well, owning your own brokerage is hard, and most brokers I know are broke. So there's one way to do it, and then there's a better way to do it. When I looked at and saw the eXp model and saw that basically it was this huge business in a box and I could create my own brokerage with inside the brokerage, it was a no-brainer. Also, stock and ownership in the company. I think the first year I had over a thousand shares of stock in the company. And again, my friends, when I was thinking about coming over, oh, the stock's not going to be worth anything. Well, guess what? 
it's more than I was given before, right? But now being here, like this is the truth and I know the stock is gonna be worth a ton, right? But again, even if it was only worth a dollar, it's more than I was given before. The third reason I came was revenue share. I was super excited about the model at Keller Williams. Keller Williams did something called profit share. And it was one of the things that sold me on the company. Well, I recruited like the number two agent in my market and she bought a team of seven or eight at the time. And guess what? I never got anything. It was triggering every month. Some months I got, I remember one month I got 12 cent in profit share. I mean, it was so upsetting because it's just like, why even send me this? You know, like why? Why, why send it? It makes no sense. It, it did more harm than it did good. When I tell you that has been life changing for me, because for me, what it's done, it's created a, like cash flow in my business. I'll give you an example of what I've started making in RevShare. So when I came over to eXp, I saw the RevShare model and my goal was, man, it was like if I could make five thousand dollars in revenue share, it would change everything. Because guess what? My mortgage would be paid for. My car would be paid for and it would just give me more freedom in my business because as a real estate agent, like we rely on commissions and it gets pretty stressful when the market shifts and things change and you don't have a deal going. Well, if you had some type of cash flow, then you're free to continue to operate the same way you have. You don't start reaching for this, that and the other. Right. So. I started recruiting people or attracting people to the company as soon as I joined. And a few months went by and I got nothing, you know? And the third month, so I, I joined in March. In May, I got a check for $800. You could not tell me that 800 wasn't 800,000 because that showed me that this worked, right? Like it, it really worked. So again, my goal was if it took me three, four, five years, if I can make $5,000 a month, it would be life changing. Well, by month six at the company, I got a check for $6,500, $6,500 for work that I did not do. You know, just me helping grow the company. Oh my God. You could not tell me I wasn't in the best place. What I was hoping for far this far exceeded everything i was hoping for let me tell you about what i got and the piece that people are missing it's the collaboration when i got here my business took off because of the collaboration i was the number one agent only doing business for two or three years at my other office everyone was looking to me for help or saw me as competition when i came over to exp there was these seven generations of people that really wanted me to succeed and they poured into me. So I got one guy in my group is a master level coach. He owned eight or nine Keller Williams back in the days and was a high level coach and still is a high level coach. You know, somebody you would pay 2,500 bucks a month to coach you. This guy I had access to. So my business doubled just coming over to eXp. Also like my two direct partners, these guys were doing 40, 60, 70 deals. And I got a chance to really go in with them and say, like, what are you doing different than I was doing? So again, I left Keller Williams because I didn't need all the recognition. Truthfully, I wanted to go where the money what resides. The what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money And I found it and I found so much more. So just in the last two years, as we speak, uh, this is March and I'm coming to you guys from vacation. This is another thing that I didn't feel comfortable doing when I didn't have constant income coming in. I just felt like I could not leave my business. And now I'm able to do stuff like this and I'm so appreciative. I'm standing here, I think it's March 28th, and I have 180 agents in my group where I'm almost to 200 agents. But the goal is in the next two more years to be over a thousand agents, actually be doing more coaching and training full time and not having to rely so heavily on that one piece, the real estate sales business. So, you know, love Keller Williams, but leaving was probably one of the best decisions I ever made. And if you're a top producing agent and someone is showing or trying to introduce you to eXp, 
trust me, what you don't know can and will hurt you. Successful people are going to be successful wherever they go. But who doesn't like having more than one stream of income? So just an amazing opportunity, guys. And I thank you guys that are following my journey. These videos are just going to get much, much better as we grow, because guess what? Now I have more time to do the things I love. So appreciate you guys tapping in and keep crushing it, guys.